Today's story, Emma and the Mascot Mystery, a tale of friendship and forgiveness. Chapter 1, The Missing Mascot The annual school carnival was just around the corner, and everyone was excited for the games, rides, and of course, the school mascot parade. The mascot, a giant tiger costume, was always the highlight of the parade, and the students couldn't wait to see who would be wearing it this year. When the day of the carnival arrived, the mascot was nowhere to be found. The students searched high and low, but the costume was gone. Enter Emma, a spunky 10-year-old who loves solving mysteries. She had always dreamed of being a detective, and she knew that this was her chance to prove herself. Emma started asking around, and soon she discovered that the costume had been stolen the night before. She also found out that the school had received a strange letter, demanding a ransom for the return of the mascot. Determined to crack the case, Emma rallied her friends, and they began their investigation. They searched the school grounds, interviewed witnesses, and followed clues, all in the hopes of finding the missing mascot. Little did they know that their search would lead them on a wild adventure, full of danger, intrigue, and unexpected twists and turns. Chapter 2, The Clues As Emma and her friends continued their investigation, they discovered a few clues that would take them closer to solving the case. They found a piece of torn fabric near the spot where the mascot was kept, and they also found some footprints leading away from the scene. footprints seemed to be those of a small child, which made Emma and her friends suspect that the thief was someone from their own school. They went around asking students if they had seen anything unusual, but nobody had any information. One of Emma's friends, named Jack, suggested that they should set a trap to catch the thief. Emma liked the idea, and they quickly put together a plan.
They decided to leave a note in the place where the mascot was kept, pretending to be the thief and asking for the ransom money. They also set up a camera to record whoever came to collect the money. The next day, Emma and her friends waited anxiously for the thief to take the bait. They checked the camera every few minutes, but nothing happened for hours. Just as they were about to give up, they heard a noise coming from the mascot's hiding place. They rushed over and found that someone had taken the bait and left a note in return. They quickly checked the camera footage and saw a small figure dressed in black sneaking away. Emma and her friends were closer than ever to catching the thief and getting back the mascot. But who was the mysterious figure in black, and why did they want the mascot so badly? The group knew that they had to keep investigating to find out. Chapter 3, The Stakeout With the help of the camera footage, Emma and her friends were able to determine that the thief was a young student at their school. But they didn't know who it was or where they lived. They decided to stick out the school at night to see if they could catch the thief in the act. They took turns keeping watch, hiding behind bushes and trees, hoping that the thief would show up. of waiting, they heard rustling in the bushes nearby. Emma and her friends held their breath and watched as a small figure emerged from the shadows, wearing the same black clothes they had seen on the camera footage. hiding place, but before they could take anything, Emma and her friends jumped out from their hiding spots, shining flashlights in the thief's direction. tried to run, but Emma and her friends were too fast. They caught the thief and dragged them back to the school. It turned out to be a young student named Timmy, who had taken the mascot as a prank. Emma and her friends were relieved to have solved the case, but they knew that they still had to return the mascot before the parade. They convinced Timmy to come with them and return the mascot to its rightful place. As they returned 
the mascot, they were met with cheers and applause from their classmates. The carnival could go on as planned, and Emma and her friends had become the heroes of the day. They had learned the importance of perseverance and teamwork, and they felt proud of what they had accomplished. Chapter 4, The Apology After the mascot was returned and the carnival had ended, Emma and her friends were hailed as heroes by their classmates. However, Emma knew that they had caused a lot of trouble for Timmy, the student who had taken the mascot as a prank. Emma felt guilty that Timmy had been caught and punished for something that started as a harmless prank. She knew that she had to apologize to Timmy and make things right. One day, Emma found Timmy sitting alone at lunchtime. She took a deep breath and approached him. Hey, Timmy, she said, I wanted to talk to you about what happened with the mascot. at her, surprised. What do you want? He asked. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for getting you into trouble, Emma said. We should have handled things differently, and I feel really bad about it. looked at Emma for a moment before replying, it's okay, Emma. I shouldn't have taken the mascot in the first place. I know it was wrong. Emma smiled, relieved. I'm glad we can put this behind us, she said. From that day on, Emma and Timmy became friends. They learned to forgive each other and move on from the incident with the mascot. Emma had learned an important lesson about the power of apologies and the value of forgiveness. Chapter 5, The School Fair The school fair was fast approaching, and Emma and her friends were excited to showcase their talents. Emma had signed up to sing, while her friends had prepared dance routines and magic tricks. On the day of the fair, the school gymnasium was packed with students, teachers, and parents. Emma felt nervous as she took the stage, but she knew she had to give it her all. to sing, pouring her heart and soul into the song. Her voice was strong and clear, and she could feel the energy in the room. The crowd began to cheer and clap along, and Emma knew she had nailed it.
As Emma left the stage, her friends congratulated her on a job well done. They had all done their part to make the school fair a success. As they walked around the fair, Emma noticed that Timmy had set up a booth of his own. He had used his artistic skills to create beautiful paintings and drawings. Emma was impressed and complimented Timmy on his work. Thanks, Timmy replied, I've been working on this for a while. I'm glad you like it. Emma and Timmy talked for a while longer, and Emma realized that Timmy had a lot of hidden talents that she had never noticed before. She felt grateful for the chance to get to know him better. The school fair was a huge success, and Emma and her friends felt proud of what they had accomplished. They had learned to work together, forgive each other, and appreciate each other's talents. They knew that they had made a difference in their school, and they felt excited for what the future held.